what's cooking today welcome to what's cooking our cooking tribe so those were just a few of the ingredients which we're going to use today we're making wraps onions request today we're going to make some chicken wraps and uh, for the chicken wraps we need the outer wrapping itself and for that today we're going to use naan that is going to be our outer wrapping um our own recipe of naan is always here we create our own recipes our own special creations so today we're going to make some white white flour naan and i'm going to show you the whole process of that the ingredients are just simple we have white flour salt yeast this tin you must be wondering what was inside that was yeast we have some yeast here and yes i'm going to use a little bit of yogurt inside just a little bit of yogurt not too much and i have lukewarm water here i prefer kneading the dough with a little bit of lukewarm water so those are the ingredients that are going to go into our naan and then we will lay it with oil outside so let's get into making our naan so we'll put in the flour this is um one kg and i'm going to use about half of one kg so around 500 grams of flour white flour here today a little bit of salt about uh, a half a tablespoon of salt and then yeast of course we want it to rise we want the dough to rise and so i'm going to put in some two big tablespoons of yeast Now it's time to knead. So our dough is ready. It's kneaded and it's kneaded really, really soft. We're just going to pour in some vegetable oil just to keep the outside of it moist and we're going to let it rest then we will come back to our chicken our rasta lion is going to cut the chicken up for us then we're going to marinate it in some ingredients which i shall show you but for now this is our dough wrapped in a good amount of oil so that it does not become too hard on the top when we are ready to cook it so see you in a second with the next part of the recipe. This is the progress of our dough. Our naan dough has risen. It's almost risen twice or thrice the height. This is how it looks. We're going to start preparing this right now. But here meanwhile we have our chicken cut and separated. These are the bones, the wings and the bone pieces. We're going to cook all of them but very differently. And these are all the boneless pieces, the breasts, and a few more meat chunks from places like the um, leg bone. So this is what we're going to marinate right now. We have these spices here. We have mixed herbs, coriander, black pepper, salt, paprika, and a little bit of turmeric. And some garlic. These are what are going to go into this marination. For this one, I'll come back to show you what is going to happen. For now, let me put all of these ingredients inside here and show you what the final product is like. Not too much turmeric. And then the rest of them are going to be crushed inside. So we'll start by pouring these ones first. Let me mix them up and show you what the result is like. So it's time to start rolling out our nando. Before we turn on the gas, we're going to roll out our dough into balls, into separate balls. That is how we'll measure the size of the nun that we want. We don't want our nuns to be so big or so heavy. So I'm just going to first squash all the dough together. We'll knead it all together. I'm just dusting my hand with some dry flour. We put the dough all together. Once it's all together, give each individual ball a second to roll and to flap back up. What are we making? 
We are making wraps to the chicken and naan wraps. How are you? I'm good. You are looking good today. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Guys, I just came back. <laughs> so I'm seeing Kuku here. Yeah, we have our chicken. One is marinated. Those are bones. Mm. Yeah, and um, we're just putting our naan balls together. Mm. Then we start cooking our naan. You've missed me? Like I've we've missed, missed you. you? Yes, we've missed you very much. The whole day, you guys have missed me too. I've <laughs> missed you. Now we're going to turn on the gas. The gas has been turned on so that they can start, it can start heating up. We want the pan to be really, really, really hot. I've made a few balls. As we keep going ahead, the balls will keep swelling. They'll keep rising back to the size they should be at. These are the sizes that we're going to maintain. All of them need to be around the same size. That's why I've kept a specific pan to put them inside. Let's put this first one on the pan. It's really hot and ready now. We'll take it through the first one. We'll go through the first one together. Then we'll let them all get ready once. Look how this has risen. So let us know, let me know and let us know in the comments what is it that is unique in the naan recipes you use in your country. Here I used yogurt. Different people use baking powder instead of yeast. Let me know what is unique to your country and if you would make naan, what would you prefer to make it with? A stew, would you make it a dry naan? And what, what exactly would you like with it? Um, chicken, beef or what? Share with us in the comments, please. Let me get a spoon. Okay, you need to see it swelling. So this is how it's going. It's swelling up and we just want it to swell in peace. Here we're going to keep them away. So this is the chicken I was showing you guys. Here is our station. We're clearing it up now. Guess whose workstation is clean and ready? Don't mind this pan. We have tried to clean it up for now. We just need to fry this chicken inside it. So we have done our best for right now. It got some really thorough cooking with the nuns. The nuns are stored away. They are covered and stored away. Ian is setting up for a live. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a live on our main channel. Our main channel is Rakistani Couple. We've mentioned it severally to you guys. Many of you are our tribe actually here. Tribe, welcome to our cooking video. Remember what's cooking today? Wraps are cooking today, chicken wraps. So this is boneless chicken. We had marinated this chicken in the ingredients you guys can remember. What I want to do right now is to fry this chicken. So this chicken is going to go in this pan. It's going to sizzle and fry for a while as I prepare these vegetables. So half of these vegetables are going to be raw and half of them are going to cook these bones right here. Let's get into doing that. Set you guys up somewhere. Maybe there. You can see everything. And then we set you guys up there. And then we we'll start preparing our meat for frying. So 
it's just simple we're going to turn on the gas gas is on we let the pan dry there's a little bit of water there oil our dear friend oil is going to go inside to start heating up just a pinch of oil to fry these and these are going to fry on really low heat once they are fried is when we'll put them on the chopping board and we'll be able to cut them into tiny slices. Meanwhile, also this chicken is going to start frying. Before we do anything else in these bones, we will start by frying them in just a bit of oil and garlic. So let me prepare to do that as well and I show you how that looks. We are live also recording a video for what's cooking. It is still going on at the rear. We have put our chickens, all of them have gone inside. Inside this remaining mixture, I'm going to mix some yogurt, some more mala, not yogurt, but uh, it's, not, it's not yogurt, it's more like fermented milk, more like buttermilk. I'm going to mix it here with some spices. That is going to be for this chicken. This chicken is done here, the marination is already done. We just need it to fry, then we'll chop it up. Yeah. So let's get to preparing the other things as well. Welcome, everyone. So here we have our chicken, it's ready and fried away. We're just going to let this cool down as we prepare our vegetables which are behind here. And we also prepare a mala mixture, a mala mixture for our chicken bones right here. Here this oil is free, this is the same oil we're going to use because it has some flavor in it. I will show you all the ingredients and all the process after cutting those up. So here we have our chicken cut into slices. This is ready for the wraps. We're going to prepare our vegetables here on the side as our bones are frying away as well. So the bones are going to be cooked And we're going to prepare our paste here to put into the stew. For now this is just yogurt, fermented milk. I will let you know what spices will go inside but it's going to be very simple. For us, so we are laid here as well. So we have added in an onion into our fried chicken. That is just one small onion that I've added. Um, and, do, and around two of these tomatoes are going to go inside into this to make it a nice thick paste. And obviously our yogurt. So this is our chicken as we have prepared it on the side. These are two onions that are sliced. I'm just going to marinate them in some vinegar and salt. Those will go inside the wraps as well as two good tomatoes here. If we need to add more, we will add more. For now, two of those are going to go inside this stew. So let the onions fry a little bit, then we'll put in the tomatoes, then we'll put in the yogurt. And see how the progress goes. So we have just added in our two big tomatoes. We're going to let them wilt away. They scrape off all the goodies at the bottom of the pan. They'll just wilt away in peace as we prepare to put our yogurt inside. Inside our yogurt, we're just going to put these specific spices. Paprika, no turmeric, um, a little bit of salt, of course, a little bit of cumin powder, and coriander powder, this one. These are the ones that are going to go into the yogurt, which is right here. This needs to be covered aside, so I'm just going to cover this aside with this. I will just cover this aside and it waits for later on. As well as the vegetables, those are also going to wait for later on. So we can actually just cover all of these together here. And they'll wait for a little while. So we're going to... So we have poured in the yogurt. And um, this is just going to slowly simmer down 
till the yogurt becomes a thick paste a thick stew we're going to let this all as you can see it's really watery right now it's all going to become a thick nice stew to be able to eat and recommend so let us let this cook down peacefully at its time and we'll cover it up so that it can cook in peace so everything is ready now our stew is cooked down it has boiled down till the oil comes out. Let us get some weight freezer. So that is how that looks. And we have our chicken and the vegetables right there. And our naan, of course, is right here. So we're going to prepare one wrap for you guys. And then we're going to get our rasta lion to come and try for us a bite. Let's prepare a wrap. We're, going, we're not going to prepare the wrap with this. This is more like a dish to dip the naan into so this is going to be a bonus dish on the side i hope you guys enjoyed the recipes kindly kindly remember to share your recipes as well um this this recipe the inspiration came from a mom from uh canada she actually shared with us a few recipes and this is where the inspiration came from and that's why we prepared this so let me prepare the wraps now let me rinse my hand and i prepare the wrap So I'm going to prepare a simple wrap with just a We realized that they putting less it's better. Yeah. What day was it with it? Lasagna. Mm. Yeah. You give them that trick. Yeah, you so one thing is you don't overstuff the whatever you're making, overstuffing it makes it really sloppy. Like also pizza. Overstuffing the pizza is one of the things that really destroys the pizza. Here we have our barbecue sauce and I'm just going to put a touch of barbecue sauce on it just to make it not so dry yep. there we go then we'll just wrap this up so this one as you've seen has no tomatoes this one is a plain one you can play around at this point you can put mayonnaise you can put um, lettuce you can put anything your heart wants to desires to put share with us your recipes tribe share with us your recipes our cooking tribe let Ian try this out for us and let us know how it is is my turn it's, it's been something that Ian mm. asked for said something different today mm. cheers guys so this, this is, is how yours. it looks let me show you guys how it looks this is how it looks we have mayo no we don't have mayo that's why today we use barbecue mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mashallah mm. The barbecue mm -hmm. has added. Mm. So here's where it comes to an end. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like my cooking mm -hmm. uniform, so don't mind you guys seeing it all the time. Mm -hmm. Let's let Ian enjoy his dinner. Mm -hmm. This is actually dinner and his meal of the day. Mm. Rasta man has one meal a day. Kindly try this out. Let us know. If you tried it out, how it's mm. going to turn out. We really love your feedback. It motivates us to share more recipes. So kindly let us know how you would alter the recipe. And if you have used our recipe, let us know how it turned out. Mm. Here we will love you and leave you with our oh, food. food. Bye.